The government of Indonesia has just officially banned all sex outside of marriage. Yes, with a penalty of up to one year in prison. Do not share a room with your partner if you're traveling to Bali or other parts of Indonesia unless you're married because you may end up in prison. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. It's been three days that I look at Google News, TikTok, YouTube, you name it. All over the world, people talk about the extramarital affairs which mentioned in the new criminal court that just signed by the House of representative of Republic of Indonesia. I got a lot of email asking, okay, is unmarried couple will go to jail? Well, I guess I have to talk about this matter more details, more serious. So people around the world will know the truth. Here in my hand is the exact copy of the new criminal code that just signed on the 6th of December by the House of Representative of Republic of Indonesia. Okay, this is the actual copy. Yeah, this is the actual copy. So I'm not gonna say what I thought, what I heard, but we're gonna talk based on what written. So please watch this video all the way until the end so you know the truth. And then you can decide where you wanna go for your holiday. Let's go. My name is Okimisa. I'm your host in Bali. Welcome to WhatsApp Bali channel, the number one channel for you to know how to travel to Bali, Bali travel regulation, and condition in Bali now. If you're interested on those, consider to subscribe. Big question, is unmarried couple will go to jail if they share room hotel together in Bali? Let's first look what actually written in the new criminal code. To be exact, what actually written in article 411 and 412. Here, I already read it. Here, I already read it. I put the... Uh, and red underline look here i already read 411 412 okay condition so let me translate for you article 411 adultery number one everyone who have sex with someone who is not her husband or his wife so they're not married to each other will be convicted of adultery and can go to prison maximum one year point number two the criminal act that mentioned on point number one is no prosecution is carried except if there is complaint or report from husband or wife for those who have bound of marriage or parents or children who are above 16 years old for those who is not bound by marriage so if you're not married yet so a single man or a single woman share a room together if there is no report of a complaint from the parents then it's okay no problem so for those who want to travel to Bali and share a room let me ask you is your parents go with you your parents don't like you or don't like your partners can find a complaint I don't think so right because if they don't like you why they go with you together holiday in Bali and if they do like you why they find a complaint so don't worry okay it won't affect you maybe it will affect the local but not you guys no problem for the tourists hi Oki but what about the police nope they don't have a right they don't have a right to report you or put you in jail as mentioned in chapter 411 only parents either your parents or your partner's parents can file a report file a complaint then can put you in problem so only direct family okay what about the hotel do they gonna ask some marriage certificate no 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 as also mentioned here in the media the decision of hotel in Bali and also we me we're not gonna ask your marriage certificate why we're not gonna ask because we don't have a right to ask you and we don't care if you're married or not what we're gonna ask has always been and will be only your passport and the receipt of your payment <laughs> okay i think we clear on this one okay let's go to the next article the number 412 is about unmarried couple living together as husband and wife let me translate it again for you number one everyone who lives together just like husband and wife without being legally married will be punished and go to jail for six months maximum and number two again this criminal act referred to number one that no prosecution is carried except if there is complaint or report from a husband or wife if they already married or the parents if both of them is single well this article is more goes to you who stay long in bali okay maybe you have a kita or you are a digital nomad live here for years and i also understand in some countries people can live together without marriage they even can have a children so also here not to worry they won't be no one gonna bother you except your parents but i know you guys if you're adult your parents won't bother you right so you don't have to be worried because this one also if there is report from family well to be honest yeah to be honest 
it, but it is my opinion though. Listen up, especially for you who have a local partner, for you who have boyfriend or girlfriend which is Indonesian, especially girlfriend, local girlfriend. If you want to live together without marriage, please, please make sure you have a good relation with the parents their parents your boyfriend or girlfriend parents i'm just saying but of course you know if you guys really love each other and you're good to each other why the parents will complain right so all that people around the world afraid of get caught by the police while sharing the room together in bali is not gonna happen well you read it yourself right it's what written in the uh, new code it's not what i said it's not what oki said well to be honest the article about adultery and living together without marriage actually is already there in the old criminal code too so far it's nothing happened right i don't know why now in the new criminal code is blowing up it goes viral i don't know because it's it's there it's always there so what are you gonna be afraid of because it's only based on report from the family beside that no police no immigration officer no nothing can file report no one let's say me as a hotel then report you oh in the room our kids somebody living together unmarried and i go to the police cannot because i'm not the parents except if my daughter living there <laughs> well i think we're clear on that let me now let you know another articles that may concern you it's about drunk getting drunk it's article number 424 let me translate it for you right number one anyone who sell or give an intoxicating drink or intoxicant to a person who is already drunk so if you have a friend he already drunk in the bar or cafe and then you oh come on drink again drink again you know you can be subject to maximum sentence of one year and number two anyone who sell or give intoxicating drinks or intoxicant to underage like 15 14 you know 16 will be subject sentence to maximum two years and number three anyone who by force or threat of violence for somebody to drink or use an anticipating object like for instance come on drink up drink up or i hate it or take this pill or i'm gonna beat you up or something that can be subject to maximum sentence of three years and number four refer to the act of number one number two and number three if resulting to serious injury for instance the guy your friend that you forced to drink and then he ride a scooter and got accident serious injury then you could be subject to maximum five years and if resulting of that you can be subject to maximum seven years and if you are bartender for instance you have this bar and you force people to drink you're already drunk and then you come on drink up again drink up again you could lose your lesson so for instance you're in the bar and your friend already drunk don't push him to drink again because i know i know it's fun to make people or your friend to get drunk but be careful you could be in trouble well i think that's all from now so not to worry about the extra marital affairs the new criminal code that has been signed by the house of representative of republic of indonesia on the 6th december which now the president has 30 days to sign that criminal code then if signed by president this criminal code will be affected in the year 2025 so still three years man three years so what you worry about you don't have to cancel your trip because one the extra marital affairs is only if there is a complaint from your direct family like your parents number two no need to show any marriage certificate if you book a room if you check into the hotel in bali we don't need to and we don't care if you marriage or not and number three as i told you earlier actually this article about extra marital status and living together unmarried living together actually it's always been there in the old version of criminal code but no one complains it's nothing happened to you right so why you complain for the new one so i don't know why it goes viral and number four this new criminal code will be affected in the year 2025 still three years three years so please please share this video to counter all the untruths all the mislead news around platform in the tiktok in the youtube in facebook everywhere it's all mislead it's not true it's not true that saying unmarried couple can go to jail it's not true that they're saying you cannot share a room with your partners in bali yes you can you're only in trouble if there's a report from your parents that's all which we both know it's not gonna happen because nowadays parents that involve if their children is already adult so share this video share this video help us to counter the mislead news and i'll see you in the only one and the one and only island of god bali bye bye okimisa signing off <music>